Hello guys, welcome to my reviews. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to change oil for this Bajaj Box X150. So this is this this is a this is a DIY video, like you do it by yourself. So all of the information you are going to get from this video may not be available on your menu in case you are using this motorcycle. So here a few stuff I have. Here I have the top high performance one liter oil which is 20W50 and here I have this um, 19 millimeter spanner chrome, chrome, uh, it's a, it's chrome vanadium but also I have an oil filter and I will show like where I, this one is going to fit and then here I have this Y shaped spanner where I'll be using it to access the bolts in here where the oil filter will be located so first thing first this oil is going to be fed in this gearbox which is here this one I just really I, I, I mean I, I already loosened this one a little bit for easy access so if you are thinking about changing the oil from your motorcycle like this there are first thing you have to remember. First one, you have to think about any oil catcher. Whereby, for me, I prepared this one. It's not that good, but I think it will work. I took a bottle, which is about one liter, and then I cut in on the top. So I will replace this one and down here. Whereby I'm going to unbolt this bolt right here, and then. I'm going to take it out, lose any, and then all of the dirt oil will drain to this little oil catcher. So, without wasting your time, guys, let us get into this. So, first thing I need this uh, uh, 19 millimeter socket, and then all the way to this direction. So here I have to loosen this one a little bit. I loosen this a little bit. And then you can just unbolt it by using your hand. And sometimes if you loosen this one, you have to be gentle because we have to avoid the oil from spilling from the ground. We don't want to pollute the environment. That's all matters, guys. Conserve the environment. Make sure you have an oil catcher. So that I don't spill. So just nice and easy, and then you will see oil start dripping down. Yeah. So after taking out this bolt with this little cover, which is a 19 millimeter, put it in a place where it will be easy for accessing for later use. Again, if you see inside, you you see this little thing. So this is also another filter, which is used to fit like like engine particles. All engine particles comes here, and the good thing about this one, there is it has a magnet in it. So I will pull this one out. You see. And you may see like it has been stuck by this gear selector. So you can raise this gear selector on the top a little bit. Hold it. And then remove this one. So you can see the oil is still dripping. I think it will take a time. After some time, it will be over. So 
so I will let it drip for a while. And then on the other side of the gearbox, you have to use this. You have to use this Y-shaped spanner. And for this bolt, you have to use 80 millimeters. So if you have any other spanner which is 80 millimeters, it will work very fine. So yeah, by loosening, you have to loosen little by little. It's a little bit harder. And then you go to the other spanner. I mean, I mean to the other bolt. You loosen it as well, and then you go to the other one, you loosen it as well. And then you have to loosen all of them together. And so from here, you will also see there is oil dripping. So you loosen it a little bit. So this is the top cover of the, I mean this covers the press rubber you have to fit the any oil filter. So after taking this one out, you can see on the other side it has this rubber. This rubber prevents oil from dripping down. So as well put this one in a secure place and then gently remove any oil filter. So this altar is dirty. So because I don't think if I will use this again, I'm just gonna put this one in this oil catcher. Oh, before putting it in there, I think I can do some comparison. So again, so as you can see here, um, on this on this oil filter there is a magnet so this magnet so all of this I don't know if you can see them clearly so all of these are engine particles so all of these particles are the result from from engine wearing down and this one it has to go up there again so before placing this one back I have to clean this one and to make this one clean you can use the petrol, which uh, you can get it from here by unlocking this. So first of all, you have to close this one, and then get something as a catcher to get some fuel, and then you have to pull out this pipe. I don't know if I can this pull out. So from here, you can get some fuel. You take this pipe, and you can see there is the petrol dripping from here. So this petrol is the one which I'm going to use to clean this one. Um, I think that's enough. And then you close like this one. After closing it here, you'll place the pipe which goes to the carburetor. Yes. And then you turn it on again so that you don't forget. After that, you have to, to dip this one. What about it going to be cleaned?
it may take some time but also if you are not in a hurry you can leave this one you stay there or sink there for for a few minutes so that um, the petrol or the gasoline it takes away all the dirty by its own time but if you are in a hurry you can just clean like this one as you can see As you see it's getting clean. It's clean now. But you can clean it some more. Now it's well and now it's well clean. If you can see there are some particles in here, or oh, any particles, yeah, you can very you can clearly see them. So all of these are the results of engine wear and tear. Do you see this black thing? So all of these are particles from the engine. So all particles which are worn from the engine, they are being trapped down here by this by this small magnet. And these particles they can't go up to the to the combustion chamber because all they stay down here. You can just you can take your time to clean this one. If you are sure that it is well cleaned, now you can you can rinse like this one so that there is no any remains. And then you have to replace it back. So for the replacement of the, I mean for, for putting this one back, so you have to put it down right here where you took it out. If you find it difficult to, to fit in there, you can do something like this. You can lower down this gear selector and then insert it like this. Once you are sure that it, it, I mean, it is snapped nice and easy, make sure you try to force it up to the end, and then you take this bolt cover, then you press it back. It may take some time, and it may be a little bit harder to ask, but make sure it is well secured. After securing this one, you have to use your 19 millimeters to tighten it well. You may have like a ratchet spanner, it, it, it might be a nice idea, but if you don't have that one, even this one will work, but it will take some time. So after make sure that it will, it is well tightened. Don't tighten too much. Tighten to the extent whereby it will be easy to remove for the other time. So now I've just drained the oil from this side. Now we have to go to the other side of the motorcycle, wherever we can see the oil drain on the side of uh, wherever we have to place an oil filter. <laughs> 